there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game. So this is our second video looking at Ticket to Ride UK. And in this video, you'll see a playthrough of how to play the game. And then in the next video, you'll see a review. So please do check the link in the description if you're interested in that. And of course, if you still need to learn how to play the game, please check out the previous um, video and there's also a link of the how to play in the description. Okay, so let's go to the table and see how the game plays. Welcome to the table for our playthrough of Ticket to Ride United Kingdom. So I will be the blue player and I'll be player one and player two we have today Pixel and Pixel has chosen to be red. And by chosen, I mean I put her near the box and that's the one she poked. If you don't yet know how to set up and play the game, please check out the previous view, uh, video in the series. That will show you how to do that. At the moment, we've got the game set up already for a two-player game. Um, it's important to note that as this is a two-player game, that the double routes, as with uh, previous editions of Ticket to Ride, will only be able to use one of those routes. Okay, so we randomly determined and Pixel will be taking the first turn as red. Um, so first thing she needs to do is decide if she'll buy a technology. And actually she is going to do that. First thing she will do is she has her one locomotive and four starting cards, which can count as a locomotive. She will you discard those to buy water tenders that cost two locomotives and will allow her to draw an additional card when drawing blind. She then needs to determine what she would like to do with her turn and she is just going to draw three cards blind and she gets a green, a blue and an orange. Okay, so which that then brings us round to my go and for my go I am going to one locomotive to buy the Scotland concession that will allow me to build routes in Scotland and then I will draw two cards blind and I draw a yellow and a locomotive so next we have pixel again um, Pixel can't afford any technologies, so she won't be buying anything. She will use her water tenders to draw three blind cards, which is two yellows and a blue. So it's back round to my go. And do I want to buy any technology? Now, I've seen that this drawing extra cards is being very efficient for pixel um, so I'm actually going to spend a locomotive and four cards um, to buy water tenders as well because I want to be able to do that and I will then draw three blind oh so I get two locomotives and a pink very nice okay uh, so back round to pixel and pixel not afford any technology that she actually wants so she's just going to draw three blind cards oh two were locomotives and a pink very good so background to me now for several for one of my routes i need to get to stornoway so i'm going to have to be able to build um, a ferry, so I'm going to need propellers. So I think I'm going to play, pay two locomotives to buy propellers, allowing me to build ferry routes. And then I'm going to use my water tenders to draw three wilds, uh, sorry, three blinds. So I've now got three yellow though, that, that could be useful. And a locomotive. So we're around to Pixel again, who will use two locomotives and four cards as a locomotive. 
and she will buy the almighty diesel power. Anything that she wants to buy, so she's gonna draw off the top random. Oh, so she now has four yellow. That's interesting. Not that she can build yellows yet, she'll need some more locomotives to get the technology for that. But if she could, that would be good. So we're back around to my turn. I do have a locomotive. Is there any technology I want to buy? Well, not for a cost of one locomotive. I would like to get the, oh actually no, I can get the mechanical stoker. So I'm gonna buy mechanical stoker allowing for the to build routes of three in length. And then I am going to draw three blind. Uh, nothing particularly helpful in that one round to Pixel. Um, she doesn't have anything to build, to buy any technology that she'd like to. So she's just going to draw three. Ah, excellent. Locomotives, that's what she wants to see. And it's back round to me. I'd like to get some stuff that's going to give me some extra points. Um, but I don't have the locomotives for it. So Ah, we, we get a locomotive, that's good. That is very useful to have. I'd also like to get me a superheated steam boiler. Um, otherwise I can't get to stow away in the way I would like to. I'd like to do one of those longer routes, get more points out of it. Okay, so Pixel to go. We'll pay a locomotive and four train cards and buy booster which allows her to use three train cards as a locomotive rather than four and we'll then draw three blindly off you see I'm doing this a lot and it's because of having those water tenders and wanting to get the locomotive this makes it a lot cheaper and easier to do Okay, so that's a few turns, should give you a reasonable feel for how this game actually works and is different to other Ticket to Rides with the buying of the technologies. So I'm now going to skip ahead to much later in the game and you can then see how the end of the game plays. So welcome back to the table. I think we're probably in the last few turns now. I am left with eight trains. And Pixel um, still has 18. I'm sure you'll see why shortly. Um, if we look at the scores, I'm on 67 over here, and Pixel's still on 29. So there's a big difference in the scores at the moment. Um, it'll be interesting to see if this levels out. Obviously, I'm going for my longest route, and I've been going for ferries, which is why I bought the steam turbine. Um, and all the technology. So I got the technologies I needed and then I've gone on a rush to do the routes. Um, and I'm very close to complete my three tickets. I only need one more little route. Um, Pixel has only, she's not been buying a lot of, she didn't buy a lot of technology. She's stayed very much in England. She hasn't got any concessions to go to any other countries. She's only building routes up to a, um, up to a size of three. Um, but she has been she has taken quite a few extra tickets, or at least she's been trying to take a lot of extra tickets. She spent a lot of turns drawing tickets, but then putting two back each time, um, so only keeping the one. So I'm not sure if that's been working well for her or not. Um, Technology-wise, I did buy, before the halfway point, the um, equalising beam. Um, so obviously I am going after that longest route. And... Pixel did buy the ri risky business, so obviously she is interested in going after those tickets. But she hasn't yet bought the double heading. Um, she has got a huge number 
of train cards. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where she's going with that. Um, and let's get on with it. It's now her turn. So on her turn, she is going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve train tickets as locomotives in order to buy that double heading card. So that will be getting her extra points for her completed tickets. Then with her actual turn, she is going to use one black card due to her diesel power to build Liverpool to Leeds, which will get her three points. Because she has the boiler lagging that's giving her plus one. Next it is my go. So the last thing I'm trying to do is just here. Unfortunately, I've not been able to get three of the same colour. Um, so I think to avoid any potential issues, that what I should do is just take ones from the table here to ensure that I have them. So I'm going to take a black. And I'll take a pink. So I've now got the cards I need to build that route next time. Now back over to Pixel. Uh, Pixel's not going to build any technology. Um, but she is going to claim a route. She's going to use a yellow to claim leads to Hull. get her two points. Okay, so back on to me. So I now have the cards I need to do the Edinburgh Aberdeen. So let's get that done. So we've got the three black and then I'll use a red, a white and a green as a locomotive. Once again this is because of the booster otherwise it would need to be four cards. And that will give me my locomotive. So that's four more trains, four more carriages out, which leaves me with four. And that will get me ten points. So very nice. So 77. Ooh, I'm very far in the lead. Uh, it be interesting to see how Pixel can possibly catch up here. But it is now her turn. So let's have a look and see what she's going to do. Now she's not going to buy any technology. She's still got a lot of cards there though, but she's not buying any technology. Um, she might draw cards. But I think she's once again going to take a risk and go after tickets. So she's going to draw three tickets. And then let's have a look. So we've got Birmingham to London. Birmingham to London. Well, she's already done that, so she'll keep that one. It's going very well. Bristol to Southampton. So there's Southampton. There's Bristol. So she's already done that one. Fantastic. And keep in mind, she just bought the double heading, so these are two points extra each. Oh, and then Wales to Ireland. Well, she's not interested in that, so that can go to the bottom of the deck. That's still, that's, uh, well, that's another six, ten points there for her. So, obviously, I think she's, she's going to do well on the final scoring compared to me, but whether or not that will counteract the difference we're seeing here, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's back round to my turn. I've only got these four trains left. Now, is there anywhere I can use those four trains? I have got three of a kind. Ideally, I'd like to build ferry route or I could try and get some tickets that I've already done and obviously Pixel just did that and it worked out really well for her I'm not going to take that risk I'm going to keep with my current plan so let's see where there's a ferry I can build that's four in length so the only one I can see is this Rosalea to Carmenthon which was actually I think the ticket that Pixel just put back. How frustrating. 
Um, yeah, so I'm going to build that. So I've got three pink here. And then I use a pink, uh, sorry, a yellow, orange, and a blue as a locomotive due to my booster. So that will give me everything I need to build this ferry right here. And that will get me 10 more points. So putting me on to 87. And that will also trigger the end of the game. So Pixel can have one more turn. So with her final turn, uh, Pixel is going to claim a route. She's going to claim Southampton to New York. So there's the three locomotives that are required. And then she needs seven of one colour. And she has seven red. So she will claim that. trains out. So many trains. It's a 10 in length. But it's, uh, it is 41 points as well. So it's, uh, it's a lot of points. This might balance out some of the loss here. But she, she, she is very far behind and she does still have five trains remaining. So we've got 41 puts her on 75. So that has seriously caught her up. That is super. Okay, um, so let's look at the final scoring then. So for me, things that I bought technology-wise that are affecting final scoring is only the equalising beam. So the equalising beam, if I have the longest route, will give me plus 15. Well, my route is 31 trains, and the longest that Pixel has is nowhere near that. So I have indeed managed that, so I get plus 15 points. Two, three, four, five. So it puts me on 102 for the equalising beam. Now let's also look at my tickets. So I don't have anything giving me any bonus points for the tickets, but I have completed them all, which is jolly good news. So we've got Glasgow to Dublin is nine points. 11, Port William to Edinburgh, another 3 points, 114, and Stornoway to Aberdeen is another 5 points, so 119, don't think that's too bad. Okay, so Pixel, well, Pixel has risky contracts and double heading that will be giving her additional points. So let's see what tickets she's actually completed. Let's start with what she hasn't. She picked up a wick to Dundee. Well, she was nowhere near Scotland. So uh, that is unfortunately minus four points for her. Putting her down to 71. So Bristol to Southampton is completed. That's four points. Birmingham to London is six points. Liverpool to Hull is five points. Southampton to London, six points. Birmingham to Cambridge, four points. Cambridge to London, five points. So she's now past the 100 mark, she's on 101. We've got Pen Penzance to London. Which is 12 points. Putting her up to 113. Oh, she is seriously catching me up here. Seriously. Uh, we've got Norwich to Ipswich, 3 points. 116 to my, was it 119? She, she has definitely won. Uh, Nottingham to Ipswich, another 5 points. So obviously the cats are very good at Ticket to Ride because uh, I don't know if you've watched my Ticket to Ride Europe video but I was beaten in that by Rogue and this time I've been beaten by Pixel. So obviously uh, not my game Ticket to Ride. 
Okay, so from the tickets, she is now on 131. She has definitely completed more tickets than me, so she gets a bonus 20 points. Um, putting her on 151 to my 119. I, I would say she crushed me there. Thanks for watching. So you can play that game. If you've enjoyed this video, please do check out the remaining videos on our Ticket to Ride series, all of which are linked in the description. And also please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, because you might like them too, who knows. And of course, if you do like them, please do share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel to see the rest of our content as it gets produced. And as always, bye for now.